hello viewers welcome to eternal section in swayam platform i'm dr meera asmi consultant for government of kerala and the managing partner of broadway events functioning in kerala so today we are going to discuss about our new uh, module with respect to managing an event management company so we'll just uh, straight away start with the slide share in this regard and we'll just talk about it on the basis of uh, on the basis of our event management company that is bought the events so managing an event management company so basically we will first discuss about the learning objectives of uh, this module that is basically you are outlining and discussing the organization and life cycle of an event management company understand the functions involved in managing a company from production operations marketing human resource management learn the importance and guidelines for achieving total quality management that is tqm and comprehend the need and importance of business ethics so these are the learning objectives so we'll uh, just start with the organization life cycle of an event management company so broadway events was uh, uh, conceived uh, uh, in uh, in kerala that is uh, considered to be the god's own country and uh, basically at the time of uh, um, you know like starting up such an event management company we were just like wedding planners so we were more concentrating on south indian weddings at that point of time along with small birthday parties and other personal get togethers so then you know like uh, um, as the days passed by we started acquiring uh, newer uh, segments of the market and then you know like, we uh, 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 gradually started growing up so on the basis of life cycle of an organization we'll just consider how broadway events have evolved to the extent to which it is currently prevailing in the industry so for when we consider the life cycle of an organization first stage is the entrepreneurial stage which is a conceptual stage where the entrepreneur finalizes his her business idea designs the business plan raises capital and starts his or her business so that is a conceptual stage where you are conceiving that idea you are making sure which what kind of um, business idea you are generating you are trying to design the business plan uh i think the learners have already prepared um on based on the assignment you might have already prepared a business plan so you know how for sure like what is the content of a business plan what is being expected in that why is the requirement of having a business plan so that everything you already know so this is the initial stage that is uh, it is a stage where you have to raise your capital and you're starting your business so success at this stage depends upon the ability of the entrepreneur to identify the right business opportunity followed by accuracy of the market research uniqueness of the idea explicitly identify services properly estimated budget and financial projection so it is this part of the stage where you have to understand the basic business opportunity you have to undertake a detailed market research in this regard you have to understand the uniqueness of the idea because you know, there will be so many players in the market and even management industry is a very lucrative sector and you have n number of players in the industry already so what is the uniqueness of the idea you are coming up with so for example broadway events when we started off we was we started off as a wedding planner so yeah, there we gave more importance to destination wedding so apart from Uh, just making a south indian wedding uh, just on a normal base what we do, uh, did was that we actually combined a lot of traditions into it so like a uh, a single day marriage which is uh, mostly uh, taking place in kerala that got added up with the additional pre wedding um, rituals and traditions so we started uh, organizing uh, haldi we started organizing for rasam then um, we're going to marriage and after marriage you have the post wedding reception including all the fun, um, traditional functions there and so that that came as a sequence so that 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 is where we being in south india we started off a new trend with the wedding planning and also we are actually started off with the concept of destination planning 
destination wedding so in the in case of destination wedding what was more important is that uh, here in south um, here in southern part of india you normally uh, go to a very big uh, you know like a stadium or uh, a very big conference hall and there you conduct the um, uh, marriage ritual so apart from that we started a bit differently and we started to make up um, you know like destination wedding plans in beaches in uh, in other private resorts so that was also an innovative concept so it is at this stage you know you should come up with a uniqueness of your idea in order to kick start your project so this is uh, in the first day that is the entrepreneurial stage so here you have to properly estimate your budget and the financial projections therein the entrepreneur must attempt to create a niche market for his or her even management company at this stage the stage 2 is the stage for expansion or growth phase here the business expands and the uh, event management company generates more revenue and services are developed and workforce are higher so here it is a stage where you know you already made your presence in the industry and um, you, you're you're becoming more familiar with the industry and here you start generating revenues for the business you are undertaking so along with that you have to develop your service sector as well and you have to uh, hire efficient and expert workforce the workforce in the sense you should have a very good core team a heterogeneous core team who is competent enough to handle different functionalities of the event you know you should have specialized people for that you, you should know how to who or whom to rely on when it comes to our expert opinion so all these will have to be considered at the point of expansion or growth phase then more of business opportunities are capitalized at this stage often resulting in radical increase in personal strength and resources so since you already in the market you have started gaining your goodwill so that will get uh, reflected in more and more opportunities coming your way so you can always capitalize on this so along with that you have to increase your personal strength and the resources therein and here the organization is geared towards maximizing its services and sales capacity you can you can prolong your sales capacity to the maximum possible extent and by rendering all the possible all the possible services in this regard a third stage is the consolidation stage where you almost reach some kind of a stagnation so if you are actually uh, establishing a market presence at this stage but at the same time the focus is shifting from cost control to more productivity and profit so initially when you start up the, you you will have little control over the cost but and when you reach the consolidation stage you have control of the cost you know the productivity and the profit share so here it is almost marked by stability because you know you are not that for a surprise but you know like you start having a slightly slow down so uh, in order to avoid any a a next stage will be the decline stage so before going to the decline stage this is actually the stage where you can actually renew your growth process and introduce new services so here it is a diversification stage so for broad we events what we did was that you know like as i said we started off as wedding planners so when the industry was having a tough competition with the wedding mostly during the um, during the um, marriage seasons uh, then it was like a tough competition so you have to uh, you know like uh, grab your space in order to mark your presence so it was at this stage where we started introducing the destination wedding plans so from uh, just uh, on a single um, initially the customer was at the day is only for a single day wedding and got uh, got reported uh, to haldi and rasam then wedding and then the post uh, wedding reception so that got prolonged to almost 3 uh, to 5 days so th that was something we did at this stage so that was a diversification along with that we uh, started concentrating on wedding on destination wedding so we started uh, making up uh, wedding stages in uh, resorts near beach which was a altogether different experience for the Uh, customers especially in the southern part of the country so that was a big boom for us so that was the stage where we started to diversify within the existing product but we started to add value added uh, services into it and we started diversifying into the market so this is a diversification stage so if you don't take this stage uh, seriously because you have already reached the peak almost a stagnation stage so from there if you don't um, you know like set your new alternatives for better growth and diversification then the next stage will be obviously a decline stage 
So in the decline phase, uh, the company is going to um, experience continuous reduction in resources and revenue over a long period of time, because uh, if this occurs um, after the growth stage, but um, not always um, uh, after the consolidation stage. Even at the growth stage, if you don't plan your activities accordingly, you may not even reach the consolidation consolidation stage. You might from straight away from the growth stage, you might um, um, uh, drop into the decline stage. So it is very careful that you never decline to the uh, to this stage. So it is not just the sales and profits that drop, but company hiring also drop because you don't have, you know, like uh, you are not making um, as much profit as expected because there are so many players and you are, there is nothing new about your service. So, you know, like your business is um, taking a back seat. So uh, your uh, company hiring is also uh, dropping. You, you don't have much, much of an eventful uh, calendar for the moment. Then the uh, company's uh, products and services also start declining. So it, this time could be like, a, um, uh, it can be a temporary stage, you know, like a, maybe, you know, like a, um, a, in the part of consolidation before you get into a diversification, before you get into a new uh, market growth, this could be, a, there could be a temporary kind of a, a decline stage. But you know, you always can cut back the measures to realign and re revitalize your organization so that it will revive your organization's growth. So this temporary uh, decline period can be actually um, uh, followed by another phase of growth. It depends upon how uh, how uh, proactive you are towards all these symptoms and how well you can um, act in um, um, proactively. So as we said, you know, like broad events, we started as uh, uh, wedding planners to start with. Then, you know, like we started coming up with destination wedding. We started including other uh, uh, rituals and traditions as part of the wedding plan. And that was a big hit. So that is how we actually created a niche in the segment. So like when people, um, uh, when people were mostly on the southern side, were mostly used to one day wedding, we actually prolonged it. We actually made the wedding plans to three to five days, including all the pre-wedding rituals and the post-wedding reception and other rituals. So that was our, uh, and that was something like an innovative concept, not really innovative, but we actually grabbed the good the customs from uh, from across the um, country and tried to inculcate a cultural habit, behavioral pattern in the minds of the people down here. And that was a huge success. So with the, um, uh, you know, like um, uh, uh, deviations in the wedding plan, that came as a huge success. Along with that, we started off with the a destination wedding which was also a big success because you know like people started enjoying uh, the serenity of the uh, environment the greenery in the resorts or the beach beach side view so that came as a different experience so that is how we started off without going to the decline stage we started off along with that and now in uh, in recent times you know like uh, uh, we started having an alignment with uh, the corporate world through techno park which is a uh, um, uh, which is a uh, you know like uh, a hub of all the uh, companies here in um, india so here in techno park there is something like a 1 like 20000 uh, uh, multinational companies who are operating here in the in different uh, buildings here in techno park that is a you know like uh, uh, info park kind of hub where companies work together. So we actually, from a wedding planner, we started looking into different avenues and we started to understand that there is much more scope in the corporate world. So we started having uh, alignments with um, uh, you know, the corporate world and we started organizing the corporate events, be it uh, you know, like a simple get together party to corporate meetings, to conferences, to events. So that was another big leap that Broadway events have done. So now we def uh, we deliver different kinds of services with great perfection and punctuality. So uh, from a wedding planner to a corporate event planner, that was a big leap. And that actually made us survive because, you know, like even now, in the we, we are very much there in the digital platform so even now you know like uh, if you are not able to coordinate an event on uh, on stage then there is always a possibility of undertaking a event offline offline i mean online so here what we do is that we actually create a digital platform 
where the company can uh, interact with the customers and the clients or their employees and undertake um, a meaningful seminars, conferences, you know, small um, Zoom meetings, everything gets arranged. So even the digital platform is having its own scope. So this is how broadly events gradually evolved to what you see right now. So uh, this is uh, all for um, the introductory section on uh, managing an event management company. Hope it was, uh, uh, you know, like uh, interesting for you. So I would like to um, give you a small assignment in this regard. You actually have this, um, uh, what do you call it? You actually have made your plans. You actually have, you might be having your event management company. You can actually, uh, you know, uh, you can actually uh, think about uh, developing a stage by stage, uh, you know, like uh, analysis of where your event management company is currently positioned. Whether it is in the entrepreneurial stage, whether it is in the growth stage, whether it has reached consolidation, or have you fallen into the decline stage? So, if if there is possibility, you can always recoup back to the you know, consolidation stage or recoup back to the growth stage and come up with a diversified product or service. So, how differently you are going to place your services in the event management sector? You can take it as a you know like learning assignment in this regard, so that you know like you understand which stage um, you are in and how to proceed. From, uh, further from that particular stage so thank you so much for your patient listening it was a uh, it is a real pleasure to be in the swam platform with you uh, sharing our experience about broadway events as well thank you so much looking forward to have more sections in this regard thank you so much this is dr Mida signing off from the swam platform thank you so much have a good day